In this edition of the Beggar's Bowl, I'm going to discuss one of the reasons why I don't often ask people to like or share or subscribe to my channel. Of course, those of you who are listening on the podcast know that it's not a video, so it's not quite the same, but all the same, there's a reason why um, I don't often take that strategy. Well, really, there's a couple of reasons why I don't. Probably the most pertinent reason is the fact that people do that if they want to anyway. If I like the video or the podcast, I'm likely to like it, <laughs> to share it. I'm likely to subscribe. It comes spontaneously out of the heart, and that's how I like it. If you really like what I do that much, then you'll follow your inclinations. Another reason that I don't do it is because of who I work for. If I were working to please the algorithm, then in a sense I would be working for the company that hosts the content. And I don't want to work for them. Actually, I've tried, <laughs> and I haven't been able to figure it out, so I don't try too much anymore. And also, it feels, it often feels out of place. Whenever I've listened back over the, for example, the, the poems that I've written, I like to listen to poem after poem after poem. I don't really care for the breaks. If it were longer content, then I think I might, it might feel a little bit different. But then I'd be back at my first reason for, for not caring too much in that direction. Well, and back to who I work for. I have a sense as I create these that I'm doing it for two principal people, the first being God and the second being myself. They are thoughts that I need to hear, that I need to reinforce and put back into my mind, truths which I once did not understand, but by which I was blessed to understand. And then God, truth, the divine source. I publish content, little gifts, gifts that have been giving, given to me from the divine little strokes of insight, clarity, new perspective. And I have a sense that the divine, the source, God, has placed these things inside me for a reason, to share them. And I don't want to get confused for who I'm working for, about who I'm working for. I don't want to start thinking that I need to accumulate likes or subscriptions although I have often thought in those terms, but I think that it's better that I not pay too much attention to all of that. And lastly, that kind of sets my mind out there in the future. I'm working today for some future reward, and yet I am doing that. I intend that there will be some reward for what I'm doing, some in this life, some in the next. I believe that God knows my needs, and I don't want to start doing my work for the sake of pleasing an algorithm, which means that what I do needs to be revenue-based. I need the means to meet the needs of my family and myself so that I can dedicate my time to writing and sharing. And it's a work of faith. I do the work knowing who I work for and I trust. And I ask, I make my needs known to the world. But it feels kind of like setting out rain barrels to collect rain. And each little beggar's bowl is a cistern sitting there, predominantly empty. Well, pretty much. No, actually, I've had some contributions. I don't know if I've had some since I started the beggar's bowl. But, um, but I put out the collection um, cisterns, the rain barrels, knowing that that's one way that God may bless me. But who knows the reason why? I may be blessed in that way. I may come one day and find one of the rain barrels full, but the reason that it's full may have nothing to do with this program, with these bits of perspective and clarity that I try to convey. It may be full because I helped somebody else in need, and that's just the way that 
the divine source that pours down rain chose to bless me for my choice to give or to help someone else. And really, that's the way it used to be. The world used to be dependent on rain and upon the unseen source that sent rain. And if there was no rain, there was nothing they could do but search their hearts and wonder what it was that the God of the unseen world was trying to tell them. And when the cisterns were full, they rejoiced. And when the crops were hardy and plentiful, but their work was to set out cisterns. <laughs> their work was to plant crops to be rained upon and then act rightly in the world. It's an old fashioned concept, but I like it. And so I set out a couple of cisterns, a couple of rain barrels today. No need to put anything in them unless you feel impressed to. And if I come and find something in them, I'll know where it came, came from. And how can you give? You can send it to me through Venmo. My Venmo account is The Trackless Path and through PayPal, thetracklesspath at gmail.com. Last week I tried QR codes. I may try that again this week, so if you see them there on the screen, if you're watching YouTube, then that's what they're for. I'll try to put links in the description as well, try to make it easy for you, so, so that if you have a little spare change and you can drop it in my rain barrel, I'd be very grateful. God bless you. <laughs>